Hello friends, I just wanted to show you a project that I just finished building for a friend, Matt McGee, who runs Matamagical, another puppet theater company in Tacoma Park, Maryland. This is a custom cranky built for his show Under the Sea with Dredgy McGee. If you haven't seen a cranky before, it's a type of puppet show uh, that has a box and a long panorama image that you crank from one side to the other. Matt's show is nautical themed, so when we were talking about the design, he said one thing that he definitely wanted was to make it look like this was the side of a ship with the porthole window being the viewing window that you see the scroll appear through. I started the design by sketching out some ideas on paper, and then I moved to the computer to work out a CAD model to do some of the math. And then I built this out of half-inch Baltic birch ply. The circular window and ring around the porthole were all cut using a router and circular router jig. It has metal handles for the side for picking up and lifting and looking just generally more nautically themed. And if you look around the back, you can see that it has the two scrolls one that you load up on this side and the other one which is empty that you attach the other side to and crank from one side to the other. This is a little bit of test Tyvek. It's not the right width that Matt's scroll is going to be, but I had it in the workshop. You can also see there are a couple pieces of PVC pipe here that are free to rotate and those keep the tension against the screen. All of the bearings were lubricated with a synthetic grease, which is why it doesn't sound squeaky squeaky. A few of the close-up details on these scrolls. Uh, the handles were turned on the lathe to give that nice rounded top. And they're bolted on the other side. You can see on the top here that the dowel was actually carved down a little bit, and then the slot on this piece is elongated so that there's a mechanical connection and it's not just glued in and could pivot on its own. There's no way this is rotating out. This vertical dowel is held in position with just this pin and a little foam washer that keeps it from lifting up. But now that that's out of the way, you can lift it up just enough to slide it out for transportation. I also added these super thin sheets of styrene as washers on the bottom to help cut down on friction.